How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and it's another episode of Shipping Tips. We're going to be shipping an expensive, arguably fragile camera that's sold for a pretty good penny on eBay. What we do in these types of videos is walk you through the process step by step. I kind of talk it out why I'm doing certain things. Problems that you might come across while you're shipping items. There is a playlist in the description so you can check that out for other shipping tips and other items that we're shipping. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. If you have other tips or different ways that you might ship this camera, let me know about it in the comments section because there are multiple ways to do this. And if you agree or disagree with something, let me know, throw some tips in the comments. That would be much appreciated. So this is the item that we are shipping, this Sony 4K Handycam, as well as the cordage that comes with it. It's going from Texas to another Texas address. This method is gonna be USPS priority mail. I'm going to put the camera in a box, and then we are going to put that box in a box for maximum protection. Um, this might be a little overkill for some people, but because it was such an expensive item, I don't mind spending a little bit more in materials. We use re recycled materials anyways. This is a recycled Amazon Prime box, and then this is a recycled box from some stuff that my wife bought. It will give it maximum protection. And if this were to have its own box anyways, would you want to just slap a label on this box and send it in the mail? Probably not. So this box is taking place of the original box and then you would box that box to give it more protection, especially for something that sold for almost $700. We're gonna be using some half inch big bubble wrap. Take one roll of this. With the bubbles facing up, because you want those bubbles to kind of mold every little every little nook and cranny in the item, we're just going to roll it through those bubbles just like that. And I'm just gonna take a little piece of tape and put it on like that. Also going to kind of close this up with a piece of tape on the end there. That will keep the camera from sliding in and out of this tube of bubble wrap. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side, kind of close it up and put a little piece of tape on it. I cannot feel any edges of the camera. It's completely protected in the bubble wrap and you really want it to kind of be suspended in bubble wrap. That's the goal of that. And we're just going to place it into the box just like that. I'm gonna take the cords. I'm gonna take an eight by 10 poly clear bag and just place those cords inside. They are rubber band together just to give it a little bit better of a presentation. And that's our little cord bundle. We're just going to place that next to it inside of the box like that. And then I'm going to close that box and tape it up. If you had extra space in your box, you would want to fill it with some sort of uh, void fill or dunnage, maybe some scraps of bubble wrap or some air pillows or some crinkle wrap, something to make it so when you shake the box, the contents do not move around. But this is so tightly packed where I'm not going to add anything else. I'm just going to close it and then tape the top like that. I'm gonna throw a thank you sticker on. Uh, they will see that when they open it up. And now we're gonna take that box and put it in our other box, just like that. As you can see, I'm gonna put it in the middle and I'm going to fill the outside of this with some void fill. I actually don't have any, crin it crinkle wrap would work for any type of void fill would be fine. Even packing peanuts, although I hate packing peanuts because they're messy. But I'm just gonna use some scrap bubble wrap and kind of fill that in right there. I did have some air pillows, so I'm gonna put some air pillows in here. Just roll up some scrap bubble wrap. A few more air pillows. And then maybe one piece of bubble wrap on the top just to fill some of the vertical space and I'm gonna close it up. And the goal that you want is that the package does not move around. I'm just gonna put a couple pieces so this doesn't open up on accident. And now we're going to purchase a label and slap the label on them. So this sold for under $750. And the eBay policy, you have to do signature confirmation for seller protection if the product is $750 or over. So technically, this is not required signature confirmation. So I'm not going to get signature confirmation on it. Whatever your risk tolerance is, maybe you wanna ask the 
buyer. Hey, do you want signature confirmation? You can add it, it's just a couple bucks. And also insurance, depending on your risk tolerance, you can insure the package or not. We are going to have to weigh the package. If you're doing shipping, you're going to need a scale. So I'd recommend highly that you get a shipping scale. And this weighs three pounds and one ounce. And the dimensions, 12 and a half by 14 by six. The postage cost on this being shipped from Texas to Texas without signature confirmation, without insurance is $9.21. I'm gonna print the label out on my thermal printer. This does not use ink or toner. It just uses heat and an adhesive label in order to be able to stick on the package. You can print them on a normal printer. That's perfectly fine. You'll just have to tape it onto the package if you do that. So we just take our label, stick it on the package, make sure it has nice, good adhesion and it is good to go. I will put links to resources in the description. If you found this video helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions uh, or you wanna throw out your shipping tips, let me know in the comments section. Thanks again for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.